What's going on guys? It's Mike Gray. Welcome to the channel. What's up guys? Back with another one. It's been a long time coming. Today we're shooting on a Hasselblad 500 and it's gonna be a Cinestill kind of day. We're gonna get some pretty dope shit today. I'm excited because it's been a while since I've shot uh, constant lighting in studio. Initially before I started to mess with strobes, this is what did it for me. Running around with a RE650 and just pointing it at the subject. But now, you know, we got people who can light the set, how it should be lit. Shouts out to Bailey over there. Well, hello. <laughs> Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. Everybody, this is Sarah. Hi, I'm Sarah. Everybody who comes on set has a story. And this one right here tried to do me dirty. And I play the victim every time. Oh. So that's just something that you have to learn. Um, I'm doing you dirty. Well, she did me dirty because we were supposed to shoot a long time ago. I can pull up the receipts right now. He never got back to me, so. That's what they always say, models, right? You photographers know. You got the wardrobe on point, you know, the looks ready to go, okay. Yeah. Do you trust that even though you're not able to see what I'm taking that we're getting some quality yes. stuff? Yes, there's a whole crew behind this, so. Yeah, I'm glad she knows. Well, y'all go follow Sarah. Let's let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I learned my lesson. That's fire. Chin up. There you go. Three, two, one. This camera didn't go to the moon, but it's similar to the one that went to the moon, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. It's, one, it's the one that, it went to the moon. I mean, I'd move it. Yeah, just, yeah. just letting you know. Can I get you turned that way? And then shoulder up, eyes to me, yep. Um, and shoulder up a little bit, there you go. Like you cold, I know it's hot in here, but three, two, one. Finally went through our first roll. What does this tell you? It tells me what settings I should be shooting on. Oh, cool. So if you look at the top of my lens, it has like those That's numbers. Whatever number it tells me to put it on, I put it on that number and cross my fingers and hope we get something, you know? Yeah. That's what it's all about. Can this one be to the towards the light? Eyes, eyes. Closed. Three, two, one. Sorry about your eyes. No. Fine, I'm fine. I'm already partially blind in one eye. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fun fact. Fun fact. <laughs> and I'm yeah. I'm actually deaf in one ear. <laughs> Damn, well. No, it's actually, um, it's illegal for me to drive without contacts in because I'm legally blind in one eye. You're legally blind? I am legally blind. <laughs> Have you seen that video, that clip? Yes. Oh, okay, yes. just making sure. Yeah, I'm legally blind.
That is it. That was the most dramatic <laughs> ending ever, and I loved it. <laughs> well, how you feel? I feel great. How do you feel? I feel great. You killed it. Thank you. So do you. Good do. shit. Glad that we finally made this happen after you ghosted me. Here she goes with the ghost. Being called out. Um, <clears throat> this is part one, so. Yeah, cause you got. We got one more. I think he was in here, but he dipped out. Oh. I don't know where he at, but. Well, thank you again. No, thank you. Um, this was fun. Yeah, y'all go check out Sarah. Ski. Ski. I thought that was your name at first. I'm not even gonna lie. I mean, I might still change it. I'm just kidding. You don't have Sarah in your bio. No, nobody actually knows my name is Sarah. So like, when dudes be sliding in your DMs, do they say like, hey, Ski. Skeef? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess that's a good alias for the weirdos. Exactly. Yeah, that so. feels less personal. Well, well, well. What's going on, y'all? Mm, mm, mm. Y'all know the routine. It's getting close to the winter time, so y'all know as it gets chilly, I bring my tea out. Today's tea is a lovely tea that we have from Paris, France. For some reason, during the holidays or when it gets close to the holidays, I get a Cinestill kick and I get inspired to shoot with Cinestill 800T. And as y'all know, if you guys have been on the channel for a while, I have always been a fan and I've always loved the results that I've gotten out of this film stock. As y'all know, we shot on the Hasselblad 500 and I was just talking to a buddy of mine about it the other day. And honestly, this system is really becoming my favorite film camera that I have right now. I've just been finding myself using it so much more. And I, th I think it's a phase, maybe it's a phase, the 6.6, aspect ratio compared to the Pentax the 67 I don't know man I, I um, I've been gravitating towards this this bad boy I love the results that came from it I just wanted to do something that was cool abstract some edgy lighting I haven't shot 800t during the day which could be cool which could be a cool experiment later down the line I notice a lot of people do it if you've shot 800t during the day comment below and tell me your experience would we'll also love to see some of the results that you guys have gotten for Sarah my favorite photos were her with the fur hat with the the red leather jacket just something about the colors that stood out to me and i just love a simple portrait though i did love the the black and whites and the other shots as well but i just think that as far as a representation of my work and my vibe i think this was closest to that for finn man we got some bangers at first he he came with the button up we had to take the button up off i was like put the black be on your gq shit you know put your blazer on you know with no shirt you got the chains on so we rocked with that and i really enjoyed the artistic shots that we got even the the blurred shot of like you know I, I put the uh shutter speed on i believe one one second or two seconds i believe it was one second and moved the camera a little bit knew it would get a, a you know a nice little ripple effect and we got something cool that was my first time getting that effect with the Hasselblad so I was really excited that it came out how I wanted it to come out I will also mention that I pushed this film two stops this is a question that I get asked pretty frequently do I push or pull my film when I'm shooting this style of work I don't mind the grain I don't plan on getting these types of images printed super large so when I have that heavy grain naturally from pushing the film to stops um, I don't mind it I actually like all of the imperfections that come with pushing Cinestill I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves staying healthy safe out here you know it's getting cooler people getting sick so y'all y'all sip your tea stay healthy like the video if you rocked with it subscribe to the channel do you guys push or pull your film 
this is something that has always been a great safety net for me as a photographer, as a film photographer. And I believe that people should do it and you can get some cool results from pushing and pulling your film. So uh, I would love to hear if you guys do that as it's getting closer to Thanksgiving. Um, your boy's going to Dallas for the holidays next week. So, yeah, I think that's all I got to say to y'all. Y'all enjoy yourselves and I'll see y'all on the next one.